Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to blur out text in Camtasia Studio when you've recorded a screencast that has information that you probably don't want to show to the public when you view that uh, screencast. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to start with a screencast that I recorded from Google, and it's my uh, iGoogle page, and it has my Google email address on it. And I may not want that on my screencast when I publish it to YouTube. So I want to blur that out, and it's really easy to do in Camtasia. First thing you want to do is put your mouse on the timeline down here, wherever that uh, item first appears that you want to blur out, and then I actually want to blur it out from there. And then once I do that, I want to go up to Callouts, and that's the link right there. Click that Callout link, click the plus sign to add a callout, and then select the callout type. And you notice there's a number of callout types here. Everything from arrows to indented arrows to highlight callers, but we're going to use a blur callout. And on the blur callout, you'll notice it creates a box here. And you can move that box around and resize it any way you want. And I'm just going to put it right there and size it so it sizes just that text that I want to cover. And once I do that, I want to make sure that my callout options, I don't want to fade the callout in. I don't want to fade it out. I just want it there. And if I like what I have, I just click Finished. And now when I play that video, and I'm going to click Play down here, but I want you to watch right up here where my email address is. And you notice that the, it is blurred out right there. But there it appears again. The reason it appears again is down here in my timeline. There's my callout. And the callout's only going to appear for the length that's on the timeline. So what you want to do is move your timeline to the very last appearance of whatever text it is that you want to uh, blur out. And that's where it ends right there. And drag your callout to that length. Well, that's right there. And once I do that, uh, the blur is there. Now, if I want to put the blur again, I might want to put that same callout in the same place. One of the things I can do is highlight my callout and select Copy Callout and then move it down to where I want to blur again. Right, the first line there. And then select Paste Callout. And it'll put that same callout again. Real easy to do. Now, you can use callouts to paste in anything from arrows to pointers to even images that you want to include in your timeline. It's easy to do. And this is a callout, and it's really useful for blurring text. I'm Bill Myers. You can find more tips like this at www.bmyers.com.